Have you ever watched a stream and thought, look at these beautiful graphics? And as soon as there's any movement on the screen, the video turns into a potato? This is what happens when a video is being streamed at a resolution that is too high for its bitrate. But what resolution is too high? Well, that depends. Notice that when there isn't much movement on screen, the picture doesn't look too bad. But as soon as the camera begins to move, the video turns into So, we can deduce that we can get away with streaming at a higher resolution when there isn't much movement on the screen. And the reason for this is compression. To save on bandwidth, your computer only sends the difference between frames to your viewers. This is a bit of a simplification, but think of it like this. A video is made up of a series of frames, and it requires a certain number of bits to represent each of the pixels in a single frame. Consider this frame, and the next frame. There isn't much of a difference between the frames, but at 540p, that's still over 518,000 pixels we need to send every frame. And the number of pixels increases exponentially with an increase in resolution. We can lower the number of pixels and therefore bits we need to send by sending only the pixels that have changed between these two frames. The non-black pixels show where there were changes between frames, and if we send only these pixels, it's far less data to send over the internet. The viewer's computer can then apply this difference to the first frame to get the next frame. So, when there's more movement, it results in a greater difference between frames, which means there's more data to send. But, if your bitrate is too low to accommodate this data, artifacts become more visible and the video quality suffers. To get around this, you can either downscale your resolution or increase your bitrate. But, before you increase your bitrate, you should be aware that a high bitrate can actually have a negative impact on your stream, unless you're a partnered broadcaster. Because sure, your internet connection might be able to put out a 10 megabit stream, but the ISP speed index actually shows that the average download speed of your viewers is far below that. So instead of your fancy 1080p gameplay at 60 FPS, your viewers see buffering. This is less of an issue as a Twitch partner, or if you have enough concurrent viewers to have transcoding, more commonly known as quality options. This lets you broadcast at an unchanged bitrate, while Twitch's servers create different versions of your video, so viewers with slower internet connections can lower the quality delivered to them. But without transcoding, it's probably best to keep your bitrate below 2000 kilobits per second, or no more than 80% of your maximum upload speed. Note that most speed tests will give you results in megabits per second, not to be confused with megabytes which are often used to describe things like the storage size of your hard drive or phone. There are 1000 kilobits in a megabit, so simply multiply this value by 1000 to get your bitrate in kilobits per second. Another way to slightly improve your video quality is to adjust the X264 encoder preset. Slower values will make your CPU spend more time encoding the frames. This will help reduce artifacts but the results aren't nearly as significant as downscaling a resolution with a decent filter. Just make sure you don't lower it too much, because it's hard on your CPU and can result in dropped frames or stuttering video. But the takeaway here is to broadcast at a resolution that is appropriate for your bitrate. A high resolution, like 720p, will give you a sharper still image, but when there's movement, downscaling to 540p will give you far fewer artifacts. Finding the right combination of bitrate, resolution, and encoding preset will be different for everyone, so it's best to experiment to find the right settings for the type of content you tend to broadcast. Feel free to comment below to let others know which settings you use.